Hello and welcome to this session friends. My name is Yogesh Kumar. In this session we are going to discuss mounting Linux file system on Windows machine using Fuse SSH FS. In last video we have discussed what is SSH FS. Basically it is secure shell file system for Linux and uh, it can be mounted uh, on Windows machine using uh, SSH FS uh, client or utility which is available for Windows platforms couple of features it use port 22 for communication based on fuse supports multi-threading large read caching and it automatically reconnects on the failure to download basically visit uh, cnet website this is the website link and to mount it this is the way you have to put uh, one drive name that uh, again optional you can put any name then host your Linux host IP address port 22 which is default if you want to use some different port you can change it the user which you want to use to connect with Linux server and authentication right now it's password but you can change it to key based authentication directory directory mean that directory on uh, your Linux machine which you want to mount on your Windows machine so I'm using fuse dash share that's directory on my Linux machine drive letter drive letter basically mean um, on your Windows system as uh, which drive you want to mount that Linux directory or file system and after that click on mount your file system will be mounted to unmount basically click unmount here if you see here it is mount once it's mounted you can click again it will unmount the file system after mount unmount will be appearing which is next option and uh, once it's mounted it will appear as a drive if you see this is the particular icon I have taken screenshot so let me do it uh, quickly to demonstrate so first thing we have to do we have to download uh, SSH FS client for Windows so this is a CNET site just simply put on Google SSH FS for Windows it will bring you to this particular website and click here download now after that uh, follow the installation instruction that simple next 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 finish that's it and let me show you the directory on Linux server which we are going to share on Windows machine. So directory is fuse share. It got uh, one file with name Linux file and we are going to mount this particular directory on our Windows machine as network drive. So let's quickly mount it. Okay, so this is the utility. Once installed, it will appear in this way SSH FS manager. Here, drive name I have entered Linux share. You can put any custom name for uh, easily identification. Host, host is you can put server name or IP address. This is IP address of my Linux machine, port 22. If you want to custom port, you can uh, put custom port or you can change it like 111, whatever the port number you want to communicate. So I'm using default port, which already got uh, firewall open. User, I'm saying I'm going to connect it to root. If you got some, uh, non root user you can put that and authentication method right now it's password and i have typed my password in case you want to use ssh keys you can say private keys and you can specify your key you can browse for key and click ok that's another way but right now i'm sticking with password for this demo then directory which directory you want to mount i'm saying fuse dash share as i displayed it got one file drive letter on your windows machine What's the drive letter you want to assign? I'm saying G. You can click here if you want to mount it during logons. Click save first, then click on mount. Okay, if you see now unmount is appearing, it means our file system is successfully mounted. So let's verify. Okay, if you see this is a file system, basically it's mounted as G drive, and this is the name Linux share. As I mentioned, you can put any custom name for your identification. Let's open it, double click. You see Linux file is there, that file was there. Let's say you want to copy this file, you can simply copy and uh, here you can paste. If you see the file is pasted, so basically you can copy the file. Let's try to create a file or directory. Right click, new folder, let's name it test from Windows, something like that. If you see folder is created and you can put any data drag and drop work and data is getting copied now so that's a way basically i'm cancelling it because this file is big it may take long time but let's quickly check on linux system whether this data is getting copied or not so earlier it was only one file i'm repeating the command 
Now, if you see, this is a directory which got created and so I'm just doing CD to this particular file system and ls minus l if you see this data is getting copied so that's a way friends uh, that's easy thing right and in case you have to unmount the file system how you can unmount i'm clicking cancel because i know copy is working to unmount uh, i'm again going back to my computer this is still mounted let's unmount it to unmount simply click on unmount and uh, if you see now mount is appearing it means file system unmounted let's quickly have a look you see that file system disappeared to mount it again click on mount it will get mounted so it should appear okay it's appeared that's a way friends uh, you can map your uh, linux directories or uh, files for uh, simply drag and drop operations you can copy data you can update data in a couple of uh, clicks so thanks for watching this video if you have any query or any suggestion just leave a comment on my YouTube channel. Thanks friends. Bye-bye.